Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would vlog today. It's literally so cold all of a sudden outside. I'm going to show you outside because it's ridiculous. It's just gone so like gloomy. I'm so not into it. So I thought we could have a cozy day together. Sorry if I just made you dizzy. Since the weather's getting a bit cooler, I've just been fancying having a cozy autumnal day. So I thought I'd do some baking today. I've got my bowls out. I've got my cupcake trays ready. I've got all of my ingredients. <laughs> I'm using the Hummingbird Bakery Cupcake Kit because honestly, this little book makes the best cupcakes like the hummingbird bakeries recipes are just on it and i'm just going to make standard vanilla cupcakes i'm not trying to be merry berry over here i just want to get my cake fix you know right so i've just popped my pinny on how cute is this it says perfectly prepared in every way and we all know that that is a blatant lie but anyway i'm gonna pop you down here i've got my bowl i've just weighed my flour out and now I'm gonna sieve my flour into my bowl. How many of you guys are watching Bake Off, by the way? As I'm filming this, there's been one episode so far. And I think my favorites so far are the girl, oh my God, I'm so bad at remembering names. Like I never remember anyone's name, but the girl who accidentally knocked that man's pineapple turnovers on the floor. <laughs> but I think she's a really, really good baker. And that cute young lad as well, who seems a little bit quiet and shy, but I think he's a really good baker. So currently I'm rooting for those two. Who are you guys rooting for so far? Let me know. We've got 140 grams of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. This is why I don't bake, you know, because you see everything that goes into your cakes and it's just, you know I'm gonna eat all of them, that's why I don't do it. I'm making these because it's my auntie's birthday so I'm gonna take some of them over to her so that I don't end up eating them all myself. So we need a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. Also, how are you guys who are watching Bake Off? Honestly, I love Bake Off, it's like my favorite thing ever. How are we feeling about Matt Lucas? I wasn't sure how I would feel about Sandy leaving, you know, because I like the dynamic between Sandy and Noel. And I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about another change, you know. However, I was happy Matt Lucas made an appearance because I actually think he's really funny. I've got a quarter of a cup of milk. Why does cake mix, honestly, just smell like the best thing in the entire world? And I'm gonna crack my egg and we need another oh <laughs> frickety frackle spilt me milk everywhere have a night <laughs> and we need why am i the messiest person in the entire world anyway we need half a teaspoon oh i did it of vanilla extract Ooh, check my muscles out when i said half a teaspoon i obviously meant a quarter didn't i there we go I'm going to stick it in with the rest of my mixture. And then this is where you've got to put your muscle in. This is the difficult part where your arm just aches. And it looks like lumpy vom. But we'll get there. It's a process. you just got to trust it. I don't know why I bothered using a spoon for that. I've got a mixer. We'll use the mixer, right? Okay. Should have thought of this before. I've got my mixer. Oh, that's better. No muscles required. <laughs> right, I've resorted to using a ladle because the spoon was not big enough and it was taking me forever. Oh God, oh wow, why am I so messy? Why is cake mix like the best thing in the world? Oh my God. If you think about it, it's literally just raw egg and sugar and that, but it is honestly just, oh, life. I've filled my cases. I'm gonna pop them in the oven. And then while you're waiting for your cupcakes to bake for 20 minutes, you pour yourself a glass of wine, even if it is half three in the afternoon. We don't care. It's Saturday when I'm filming this, so it's allowed. So last night, guys, I was looking online at like autumnal candles. I want some cozy candles that are scented, so like 
warm, spicy autumn winter vibes. But I was looking at Jo Malone, I was looking at Diptyque, and it's just so overwhelming. There's like so much choice. So I was wondering if you guys have any recommendations for like autumn winter candles. Let me know. It can be any price point, by the way. It doesn't have to be bouge. I feel like everyone loves burning candles in autumn winter, don't they? Like it's just those cozy vibes. And when you're chilling on a night time with your glass of wine, watching your shows, trying not to spill your wine, it's just a vibe, isn't it? So yeah, I need to pick myself some up. So let me know your suggestions if you have any. I just had a moment, oh my God, I know I'm talking about Bake Off again, but do you guys remember when Joe Suck fainted on Bake Off? <laughs> That's one of those things that sometimes I still think about and laugh like, oh bless him. He cut his finger and fainted. <laughs> Mind, I'm laughing at him. I wouldn't do any better. I'm here making cupcakes, do you know what I mean? To the best of my ability. Paul Hollywood would have my life, let's be real. I would not get a handshake. <sighs> so my cupcakes are ready, they're just cooling down. Look at these bad boys. So now I'm just gonna go and get my frosting ready. So I'm literally just gonna mix in my icing sugar with my butter and my milk mixed with vanilla extract. And that's it mixed up. I've literally just added the tiniest bit of pink food coloring in because I didn't want them to be bright pink, but I wanted them to have a little bit of color, you know, so I'm just gonna pop this on top now. So I'm just putting my frosting on and then I'm gonna put some little decorations on top. I'm literally just kind of smushing the frosting down and then kind of doing a little swirl. We're not professional over here, but I think it'll do. And we're done, how cute are those? They're a bit more girly than I'd have liked. They did only have pink food coloring in Sainsbury's and really, really girly decorations, but hey, we move. Okay, let's do a taste test then. I've just got hundreds of thousands all over the floor, but never mind. Mmm! Oh my God, that was really dramatic, but this is so nice. It's literally so cold today. So I am running myself a bath. I'm gonna have a pan. Oh. I love that it's bath season again. Like in the summer, I never have baths, I only have showers. So, currently got a bath running. I've set up my cozy vibe. I've got my candle as well. And I think I'm gonna get in my bath. I might put a sheet mask on. I'm gonna read a little bit of my book and I'm gonna chill for a bit. So, I'll catch you in a bit. So, I'm out of the bath. I read a bit of my book. It was really relaxing. This is the book that I'm reading, by the way. Women Who Run With The Wolves by Clarissa Pinkola Estes. I've read this before, but honestly, I would recommend this to anyone. It is such a good book. It's like all about female empowerment. And I've just cleansed my skin in the bath. So now I'm gonna use this little device that I've been using recently. This is called the Nebulift and it's an anti-aging device and this part of the video is sponsored by Nebulift and I'm so excited to chat to you guys about this because I just absolutely love it. So like I said, this is an anti-aging device and it uses something called RF technology which is basically electromagnetic waves. I've geeked out about this and read up on it. So it penetrates into your skin and it helps to promote collagen tightening and regrowth and it just does lots of very cool things. So basically how I use this is, I use the Olacea, I think that's how you pronounce this, Olacea, Olacea, um, Botanical Soothing Gel. You basically just pop like a few pumps of that onto the device, you turn it on, and you use the middle button to choose your settings. So if you're a beginner, they recommend you start at level one. I am gonna do level two, and I'm just gonna spread my gel over the pad. Have you seen this, by the way? Look at this. That is what it looks like. And basically, what I do is, I start on my cheeks. So this is releasing electromagnetic waves right now. It doesn't make any sound or anything. And this will beep after two minutes to let me know when to move on to the next part of my face. And I can just feel like a bit of heat coming off it. It's not painful, anything like that. And I just use it in this upward motion, which is kind of what I do with my skincare routine anyway. Usually when I'm doing my cleanser, I'll kind of do a little bit of facial massage at the same time, because I can get quite puffy and it really helps with that. So I find that using this device 
kind of helps with that as well just because I'm using it in the same way but that's not what this device is actually for there did you hear it beep so now I'm going to move on to my chain I'm going to pop a little bit more gel on and I basically do the exact same sort of motion and that heat is like so relaxing and it feels so soothing and I just love the ritual of doing this it's so oh like that's exactly it actually it's ritualistic like I love making such a ritual out of my skincare routine so you can use this on a morning but they do recommend that you use it on a night time and I prefer using it on a night time just because I like to make a ritual out of this my whole skincare routine to me is a ritual and I just really like the whole process of it. I really enjoy it and I honestly can see a difference in my skin. My skin when I use this, I don't know what it is, but it just feels kind of, I want to say like more taut. Like I genuinely feel like this works and I love the feel of it, like I said. So this is meant to help lift your facial contours. It's meant to help strengthen the deeper layers of your skin as well. So I've had a little beep, so I'm moving on to my forehead. And on my forehead, I just kind of like do this. Oh, it's so relaxing. I kind of scrunch my face up a little bit throughout the day and I just find the motion of doing this just relaxes my muscles and it's so nice but this is waterproof it's portable it has thermal control and it helps to brighten and tone your face as well which is so amazing oh this is honestly just the best thing ever like that heat is so nice and i don't have acne scars but this is supposed to help to kind of fade acne scars as well and it comes with i've got it here actually it comes with a portable wireless charger as well how good is that oh another beep so for my nose i'm gonna put a little bit more gel on actually for my nose what i tend to do is i just kind of do this that is where i notice i have like the beginnings of wrinkles like not actual wrinkles but here is slightly more dipped than it used to be on me so this is meant to help with that as well they do recommend that you use the Olacea I think that's what this is called gel and it does feel like it goes really well with this obviously but like it just kind of slides across my face really nicely it feels soothing on my face you can do your neck as well you can basically do kind of anywhere that you feel like you would like a bit of toning up also i like doing this at night time because i like leaving the gel on so that it can just kind of like sink in to my skin if you'd like to try this out you can use my code it's kate50 for 50 dollars off which is absolutely amazing and if you do get in touch with me and tell me how you get on with this because i just personally absolutely love it it's just oh it's so relaxing and i genuinely think it works like I do feel like my skin feels like I said just like more taut I do feel like my skin looks better and like brighter and like I said I just love the ritualistic aspect of this oh it's so relaxing there we go we're done our 10 minutes is up and then it just switches itself off and then I'll just go and wash the gel off this now and put it away and I'm done and it's just really cute if you wanted to travel with it as well it's so easy my heart's saying wine but my head's saying herbal tea because I am dehydrated gonna make myself a herbal tea gonna get cozy on the sofa I'm gonna put something on Netflix oh by the way I know in my last vlog I was like oh I need to get my autumn cozy dressing gown out it's cold but I put the autumn dressing gown on it wasn't cold enough for it I was slightly warm so I've resorted to a more summery dressing gown but in a more autumnal shade. Guys how cute are the twinkly lights in our porch? I cannot and then you can see like the lights outside in the garden as well so cute. So I've got my tea I might have another cheeky little cupcake in a bit. I should probably have my dinner but you know when you just fancy something sweet and not actual food that is where I'm at. I should probably just have my dinner. I am hungry. But I'm going to choose 
something to watch on Netflix. Do you have any Netflix suggestions? Oh, by the way, you know I've got the fire on even though it's not cold enough, but we've just got it on for the vibes. Right, guys, I need your Netflix suggestions. I know I say this all the time, but what are your autumn Netflix suggestions or have you watched anything recently that you would recommend? For me, I watched The Duchess recently and I literally watched the whole series in one go. I love Catherine Ryan though. I literally think she's so funny and kind of relatable to be honest. I mean, let's be real. But yeah, if you haven't watched The Duchess on Netflix, I would recommend it. But yeah, I'm just going to find something to watch, drink my tea and chill. But I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Give it a cheeky little thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you'd like to see more vlogs as well. And let me know if you liked this like cozy vlog because I personally really like watching homey vlogs so do let me know and I'll hopefully catch you in my next video bye